Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make this sign on my CNC machine for a very special YouTube friend. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. On this slab, I'm picking out the best 30 inch section I can in the middle of this slab and I want to get as much character in this slab as I can. I also want to keep the live edge. So you see the section I picked out has this crotch grain. You can see the lines from the router sled where I flattened it, but that will be cleared up. I'll, I'll flatten that out more and sand that all out. Uh, you have this little bit of a defect in here, but this is really cool. It's got some bark inclusion in it. It's got some crotch grain figure in it, and it has this knot in it. So we're gonna zero right here at this intersection. And that's gonna put our car right in that section. All right, now we're gonna fire up the CNC machine and zero it out. We've got it all zeroed out. I'm gonna load the file. Next thing I need to do is turn the router on, which is going to make a lot of noise. And I'm gonna plug the vacuum in and turn that on. I'm gonna shut the audio off on here. I'm gonna start the carving and I'm gonna run it at a high speed in the camera because this will take a while to carve. And I will speed this up. You can watch it carve the first clean out with the quarter inch end mill. Then I will uh, get back on here, talk to you a bit, switch over to the eighth inch end mill and then we'll finish up the car. But we'll talk to you in a bit. As you can see here, we ran into a little snag and what I like to call a learning experience. What happened here was the bit wasn't tight enough in the router collet, so as it came loose, it drilled itself into the wood. So let's finish with the carve and later in the video, I'll show you how I fix it. Next I busted out my chisel and scraper to clean up the rough edges and smooth the surface as well as remove the pencil marks. So if you are enjoying this video, we would love to have you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Stick around because this year we have some epic plans that you do not want to miss out on. Stay tuned for a video with an announcement that will explain it all.
just uh, mixed up some glue and some oak sawdust. Made a little of our own wood putty. Overall, so far, is looking great. It's all cleaned up except for that one little patch. I'm gonna let that dry and come back and finish it up. So I lost a little footage of cleaning up that patch as well as the first coat of paint, so we'll have to pick up here with the second coat. I decided to paint the recess black gloss with indoor outdoor paint and sand it down later to make the letters pop with natural grain, then finish it up with a boiled linseed oil. Even though I ran into a few snags during this project, it was a lot of fun and I learned a lot. I am really excited to see what Mr. Northwest Sawyer thinks about it and hope he likes it as much as I do. Please let us know what you think in the comment section below. We're always learning and sometimes the suggestions from others really make a difference. Also be sure to head over to Northwest Sawyer's channel and check out his videos. He has amazing videos and let him know I said hi. And as always, I hope you are all having an awesome day. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.